Hey everyone, my name is Louis and I'm Customer Success Associate here at Xeno. And today I'm going to teach you how to revoke a user's access to your application when a new login in that account is detected. This is particularly important if you want to create a password sharing prevention mechanism in your application. And this can be easily achieved inside Xeno using our native authentication and authorization flows. And the first thing that you need to do is to go to your user's database table and create another column, which is going to be a text field type. And we're going to call it session E. For that, we're going to head to our API and local builder and the default API group. And we're going to make some changes to our logging API endpoint. What we have here is that steps one and two are validating user's email. And steps three and four are validating users, user's password. And ultimately, it creates an authentication token that is used to hit any authenticated API endpoint inside our platform. And the first thing that we're going to do is between steps four and five, we're going to get here under security functions, UUID. And we're going to call it session key bar. And what we would do with this is first, we're going to send this along with the token and later store that into the user's database table. So to send this uh, along with the token, we're going to go here to extras. I'm going to click here in set and the path we would choose a uh, session I key name and the value you will be that variable session key bar. And in the end, we want to store this in the database. We're going to go to edit record user and the ID we're going to pull from this, uh, first function here, get the record that's returning as user. So we're going to get the var user and get the ID from that. And we're going to assign in the session key field, the var session key. Good. And now we're going to go to our library functions and we're going to add a new function that we're going to call validate session key. And the reason why I'm using a function is that we're going to reutilize this same function in every API endpoint that we're going to be creating. And this function will be very simple. We only have two steps. That's going to be a database of requests and get record from the user. And the ID we're going to pull from the auth token. And we're going to create a precondition that when the extras coming from the token and the path will be the session key. If the session key is equals to the user's session key in the database table, the access will be granted. Otherwise we're going to deny the access and we're going to return the error message. Uh, this account has had a new login. Good. Let's publish this. And now we're going to go here and create a new API endpoint. Let's call it API one, two, three. We're going to add this custom function that we just created. That's called a uh, validate session key. Good. As we're getting the ID from the token, it's very important that this API endpoint has a user authentication required. And to show that it's working, we're going to create a variable here and we're going to call it access granted. Good. Now we need a valid token. So we're going to go back to our login API endpoint and we're going to run to get this token. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it because later I'm going to use this to show that it's working. Now that we have a valid token, we're going to go back to this API endpoint. Let's delete this and run access granted. Good. And now let's go back and get a new login. So I'm going to go get this token and 
save this. Go back. Now let's run. So this new auth token is also authorized. Let's try to run the old token. And now the access is denied because this, this account has had a new login session. That is great. So if you have any questions, leave here in the comments below. If you want to learn more about a platform, go to community.zeno.com. You can always reach out to support via chat. And don't forget to subscribe to Zeno YouTube channel. See you in the next video.